Hi everybody, this is attorney Karen Singh with the Singh Law Firm. In today's video, we're gonna discuss the differences between a revocable trust versus an irrevocable trust. A revocable trust is a type of trust that allows us to avoid the probate process. It's a revocable trust which allows us to amend the documents during our lifetime as well. The people we choose to be our trustees today, the way we want our assets divided amongst our heirs to whom they should go to, these ideas in our mind over time might change. And a revocable trust gives us the power, the flexibility to make those amendments as time goes by. The revocable type trust is the most commonly used trust uh, within our estate planning world. For those who have not set up their estate planning documents, the revocable trust is the uh, go-to type trust. Now within the revocable type trust, there are several different types of trusts that are set up. There are disclaimer trusts, there are AB trusts, there are Q-tip trust and Q-dot trusts as well. Those types of trusts will be a determination by your attorney and some of the factors and facts within your family and your circumstances, and your attorney would help you decide which type of those revocable trusts would best fit you and your family. An irrevocable trust is in a trust that cannot be changed once it's been executed. Once it's been in effect, no changes can be made. Usually there are some minor changes like the change of trustees. The acting trustees can be changed by the settlers or the grantors, the individual who created the trust. They sometimes reserve those rights. So an irrevocable trust cannot be changed unless there is a court order and good cause shown typically. Irrevocable trusts are set up for many different reasons. The first reason uh, an individual or a family would set up an irrevocable trust is because they are a high net worth individual. If they passed, their estate would be exposed to estate taxes, death taxes. We'll have another video on estate taxes um, in a few weeks, but in regards to irrevocable trusts, we can set those trusts up to limit or eliminate any potential death tax that would come due to your family. Further, we might have children who might be bad actors, they might be drug addicts, alcoholics, they may not spend the money properly, they may be immature, and the parents may want to put some extra control factors in there as well. And sometimes, depending on the circumstances, irrevocable trusts can also be set up for asset protection. Now, the caveat here is you don't want to jump into thinking you or your family needs an irrevocable trust today because if you transfer assets into an irrevocable trust, you virtually give up your rights or control over their, those assets, meaning that you will not be able to access the principal or the interest those assets derive during your lifetime because you've given up your rights or control. So you want to really sit down with your attorney to understand whether that's a suitable type of trust for you and your family depending on what your objectives and your goals are. Well, I hope you know the facts and, and discussion today on revocable trust versus irrevocable trust was able to bring you some clarity here. Uh, definitely go to our website at www.singlawfirm.com to get more information uh, on trust, estate planning, irrevocable trust, and estate taxes. You can follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Google+. Definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel, and definitely stick, stay tuned for more videos to come. Thank you.